we're at 12,000 feet right now. We're heading down to 5,000. And uh, we're only about 18 minutes now out. So um, it's going to be, uh, it's light, bright, sh shiny, sunny right now, but it will get dark here pretty quick. Six hundred at the initial approach fix, Hobu. At Ziesel, we need to be at nineteen hundred. And just so you know, I've been watching this weather since last night. I um, then watched the weather this morning. I knew we were clear leaving, but I knew we'd have to. Uh, it was going to be close for here. By far, you really have to plan way ahead, especially when you know it's going to be IMC. So Hannah, are you excited or a little nervous about uh, this approach, having heard what I just told you? Slightly nervous. I mean, I'm excited, of course, because we're in a... You've flown a little bit. You did a discovery flight with Christy, which uh, you can watch that video by clicking up there somewhere. Like magic. And then you've flown with me on a long uh, trip, well, long, Carlington, two-hour trip. This is actually a little bit less, so. Well, no, it's about, it's about the same, I think, actually. Yeah. Hour and a half to hour 45. Yeah. 242, contact holds approach, 124.0. Okay, one thing that uh, I picked up from some comments on some of my other IFR flying, this probably means nothing to you, you but uh, a lot of people like to be established with flaps and gear by the uh, approach fix. And um, it's not a bad, I, I understand the reasoning um, so that you're not making adjustments as you're on the glide slope. Uh, glide slope begins at Hobu. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and a uh, little bit before Hobu, I will drop the gear and one degree of flaps so that I get um, configured for landing and do my gumsy check at that point, right before Hobu, so that all that is set at Hobu, and I can just do a three to 400 foot a minute descent through the IMC. All right, 500 feet above altitude. Looks like tops are right at 5,000. It might get a little, little bumpy, uh, but it's not gonna be too bad. There's not a lot of wind in these clouds. They're all hanging around. Four four six two zero Yankee, contact Little Rock Approach one one nine zero point five. One one nine zero point five two zero Yankee. Uh, Little Rock Approach two zero Yankee, Pi Rep. Uh, the tops are right at five thousand. Number two zero Yankee, Roger. Descent of pilot's discretion maintain four thousand. Discretion to four, two zero Yankee. Number six, seven, five. Okay, this is cool when we're here, right? Yeah. Okay, one more thing. We got moisture. We want to make sure the temperature, outside air temperature is 16 degrees. So we don't have to worry about freezing, precip right now. Now you're in between layers. Look at that. That's really cool, too. Almost like you think you're totally in the clouds, but no, we actually were visible here. Okay, I'll do my last fuel switch. The gas at Gumsies is done. Cessna 20 Yankee changed my frequency 121.2 and check in. 121.2, 2 Yankee. 2 zero Yankee checking in. Alright, 2 zero Yankee, have you loud and clear. Flighting 045, vector for the right downwind. Zero four five vectors for the right downwind, two zero Yankee. Remember two zero Yankee fighting zero five zero. Zero five zero, two zero Yankee. Two zero Yankee series just departed commonly, reported the bases at five hundred feet. I appreciate that, two zero Yankee. Five hundred, so even up one more hundred feet. That's great. It turned me right here pretty quick. Remember two zero Yankee, eight miles from final approach fix, turn right heading one nine zero. Maintain 2,200 to establish on final approach course. Cleared RNAV, runway 22, approach to Right, turn 190, and uh, 
maintain 2002 until established on approach and cleared for the RNAV 22 Conroe to Yankee. Okay, so we're coming in. Um, normally I'd wait until the final, but I'm going to go ahead and drop gear now. Speed looks good. And I'm going to go first notch flaps. Okay. And we're cleared for the approach. Dizzle is 1900. Number two zero Yankees in flatting 180 to intercept runway 22 final approach course at Conway. 180 to intercept 20 Yankee. Member 20 Yankee, report IFR cancellation in the air or on the ground. This frequency change to advisory frequency approved. Change approved, and uh, we'll try to end it with you, if not on the ground. 20 Yankee. That was good. Conway traffic, Centurion 4620 Yankee is inbound on the RNAV 22 Conway. And I have both lateral and vertical guidance. Okay, gas is done. Undercarriage. I've got a green light, a wheel. Do you have a wheel out there? I do. I see it in the mirror. Okay, mixture, props, that's all good. 102. I'm going to go second notch of flaps. We're going to bump up a little bit. All right, good. There we go. And do you have runway? I have runway. Here we are, right lined up. Oh, that's awesome. That's one of the most exciting things about IFR flying. Conway traffic, Centurions on short final, 2-2, Conway. Memphis approach, uh, Centurion 4620, Yankee has runway in sight and would like to cancel IFR. For 2 zero, Yankee, IFR cancellation received, thank you. Calm to inbound traffic. Will you need fuel today? Affirmative. Two zero Yankee. Roger that. Will that be Av Gas or Jet? Av Gas. Thank you, sir. Whoops. Did not talk to her. Did not like that run landing. Okay, so one takeaway is that uh, I should not have answered her on short final coming in land. Need to focus on landing the plane. But uh, other than that, it was a fun IFR deal. Anna, what'd you think? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. All right. Uh, thank you guys for joining in on this episode of Taking Off. We'll see you next time.